Hey guys, this is Albert. I hope you all are doing okay. Um, so in one of my previous videos, I talked about how to do a multi-track setup between SQ7 and Studio One. And in that I focus a lot on the input part, basically sending um, the input from um, SQ7 into Studio One. But I forgot to cover the output part, which is the other way, sending output back into the mixer. And so I was asked this question on that video. And so this video is specifically focused on the output. If you want more details on the input, please refer to the previous video I did. Okay, so uh, the idea at high level is the same. There are three steps. Step number one is on Studio One, you need to identify which channels you're going to be sending the output on. Step number two on SQ7, enable those channels. And step number three is to route that to whichever destination you want between headphones or, or your uh, uh, studio monitor and so on. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna use one of the songs we did during our worship session to walk through this. Okay, so uh, the step number one is go to this uh, IO section here, click on that. And um, this is the input that I covered last time. Go to outputs. In the output, this is the main out, which is where Studio One is sending out its signals. And here you got to specify which channel it needs to send it out on. So I want to send it on channel number 31 and 32. And what this means is that this is the channel of SQ7 that it will be used to send the output on. Say so, okay. All right, so that's step number one. So I'll play this song so we can see some activity going on over here. Uh, struggling to keep the camera. Okay, uh, select the song here and then play it. Okay, so right now the song is playing. You can see the, uh, the meters over there. Now step number two, you come to SQ7. And in SQ7, so uh, like I said, the the sound now is coming on channel number 31 and 32 and what i want to do is to map that to these two faders that is 31 and 32 okay and so here you see those two channels basically nothing is happening right now because we haven't configured it so what you need to do is you go down to io and in io go to inputs and in input you need to make sure you're selecting usb because that's how you're getting the signal and so here what i want to do is map these two channels where the sound is coming in onto uh, these two faders so uh, if i select uh, 31 which is this and 32 and so you see instantly you see these lights that are turned on that basically tells you now that sq7 is receiving the input from studio one so that's step number two Okay, now the step number three is how do you want to listen to it? So there are three ways to do it. One is just simple, connect your headphones and uh, turn on the paffle. And so if I turn it on, now you can, you should be able to listen. So that is the headphone, but that's not my preference. I would rather listen to it on the studio monitor. So uh, the way I accomplished this last time, I also mentioned this in that video about using a hack. And so what I did was I sent the sound from my headphone into the splitter and from splitter into my uh, my headphones and my control room monitor. And so I could hear uh, that way. And I, I preferred that because it is giving me pre-fed uh, sound so that this, the, 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 the mixer setting doesn't impact it. The third option is to uh, use the different mixes that SQ7 provides and uh, uh, use uh, the one that your, that your control room monitor is connected to. And what I mean is that there are nine mixes that, um, that SQ7 provides. There is the LR and then there is all these other eight mixes. So I'm not gonna talk a lot about that right now because I also covered this in my previous video. But right now the setup at my place is such that I have uh, configured sound from mix one to go out to my control room monitors. And very briefly, I have the control room monitors connected there on port number three and four. And the way I've done that is need to go to outputs and in the output and mix out, you'll see 
you'll see this aux one which is referring to mix number one the port number three and four is where my studio monitors are connected and so all it's so that's the setup that you got to do and uh after that all i have to do is turn on the faders here okay you can listen to it now okay so now i'm able to listen to it the, the studio one is sending sound on ch channel number 31 32 is coming to sq7 i've configured enabled those channels and then i've routed them to mix number one which is sending it to control room monitors and if you want to see a visual representation of that just turn this thing off uh, you go to routing and in routing you will see that um Port, uh, channel number 31 and 32 right now we're just showing lr which means any sound going from the lr mix which is this one will also be sent to these two channels but what i did was i also wanted these two right these two and so you can see that now uh, um, the green uh, lines on number one for both 31 and 32 are enabled okay so that's just a visual representation but uh, so th those are the three things you got to do and so I hope uh, this helps in understanding how this works um, and again if you have any comments or uh, any thoughts uh, just put it down there in the YouTube link. Uh, okay, uh, thanks for watching and happy mixing.